All right, so this is how you set your score for a steel orchestra. Your, top, your tenor, your double tenor, double seconds, guitar, three cello or four cello, and your bass, whichever one you decide to use. All right, so what you do, once you are faced with the screen, you go ahead and click once on blank. And then you start to set your score here, right? You want your page size to be letter, depending on how many voices uh, you have or how many instruments you have, you will definitely want to change your page size, right? All right, so in this case, we select letter, leave it at portrait. Here, click change instruments because now you need to add the steel drums. Now, if you can't find where the steel drums are, you simply search for it in here by typing steel drums and then this will come up, all right? So we want to enter um, three with the treble clef, all right? And it would normally be the first one here. So you just click on it and you could either double tap or press enter. Press enter three times. And you see it's added on the right. Then you do the same thing for the bass clef because you need the guitar, um, three cello or four cello, and bass. So you press enter again and that's added there. After that, you just click OK. And you see it here, right? But we're not done as yet. Um, after that, you want to select the time signature that you want. So in this case, your time signature will be 4-4. Four, four. Let's keep it at that. Then we need to decide, is, is it a pickup beat um, in the beginning or not? And if you want to do that, you simply click here and you decide on the value of that pickup beat. All right. But in this lesson, we don't need uh a pickup bar right all right then you would definitely want to uh at least set a tempo so you do so by either using the drop down arrow here and selecting which one you would want or you click in this box and you decide all right i want it at 100 beats per minute or let's say you want it at 110 all right beat per minute then you need to select your key signature. So in doing so, let's keep it simple. You use the drop down arrow and you could decide out of anyone here, which one you would like to use. In this case, let's go with no key signature because we want to select C major. When you finish selecting the key signature, you want to include the title of your piece. All right. So because this is a tutorial, let's just call it tutorial one composer let's say it's j do the lyrics is let's say it's also j do then you want to include your copyright so it's 2021 so we'll say 2021 um j do put a space there j do music all right after that you can safely go ahead and click create all right, then when it is created, this is what you're faced with, but you're not quite finished as yet because you need to specify each instrument here. It just says steel drums, but it doesn't say which one. So how do you do that? Okay, you go ahead and um, close this timeline here and all you do, double click and you start to rename it tenor. Now, if you open a mixer, you'll also see that it says steel drums, right? But I'll show you how to change this. So you go ahead here and do the same thing for the rest. All right, six piece. Well, we're not quite done as yet because if we open the mixer again, it still remains the same. So what you want to do is just include a few more bars. And when you include that now, if you notice, we also see steel drum. So we need to rename this one. Once we label this one correctly, it will change in your mixer. All right. 
all right and then when you open your mixer you see it's labeled correctly so this is how you pretty much set a steel orchestra score on Sibelius all right now let's say you're gonna be doing a lot of compositions or arrangements um, for the steel orchestra and you want to uh, retain this particular format what you need to do is you go to file you click on export and when you click on export you want to select manuscript paper when you select manuscript paper if you remember when we opened Sibelius and you're faced with that first screen you see many different things um, different score types all right so what you will do if you don't see anything for the steel orchestra or the steel pan you can click other and you create a new category and that category would be for your steel pan or steel orchestra whatever it is that you would like to name it once you do so right then you click export and when you click export it will now be added to that home screen in Sibelius because you created a new category all right so as you can see it is added to your home screen all right tutorial one in a new category steel pan here all right so i hope this video helped you to understand how to set a score for steel orchestra using Sibelius